Hi guys, uh, we hope that everybody's safe, you know, everybody's uh, doing well. Uh, so we are here today to be uh, teaching you guys some uh, fundamentals uh, positions, you know, from Jiu Jitsu, some basic techniques from Jiu Jitsu. So I'll be teaching some uh, techniques. Professor Bruno from Ono Road Jiu Jitsu will be teaching some techniques too. Uh, Professor Jason Hein from Iraqi uh, BJJ will be teaching some uh, techniques. And also uh, our coach, Coach Manny here from RST. I will be helping us in uh, all the positions. Uh, we really hope that you guys uh, enjoy the techniques, that you guys uh, can still learn some jiu-jitsu, still touch with jiu-jitsu, and uh, have some fun. Okay, so thank you very much. So I'm with Rodrigo Pretas, and everybody knows with his guard and his grip, it's very difficult to, to maneuver. Okay, so I'll show one position that it's a very quick, explosive position to try to break the grip. Okay, especially on a guy like Rodrigo. So, uh, again, it's all about my body posture, okay? He's got the daily heave grip. I don't really want to grab the collar in this position so much because it's easy for him to extend my body out because I'm reaching, okay? So rather, I want to control the hip, okay? It really forces his daily heave to the mat. It's hard for him to maneuver. He's going to try to extend, okay? So it's always, so when he starts to extend, now I can start to use my elbow to step and break this grip, all right? Instead of trying to step over, a lot of times he'll catch me, and now he's already stretching me. If this happens, I'm off balance. So for me to get my position going with good pressure is gonna be really difficult, okay? So I'm controlling, right? I don't want him to expose, you know? So he'll probably have his grip on my collar. Okay, so I'm controlling his hip. With this hand, I can start to get the collar to release the pressure of his grip, all right? If I'm on the top grip, Diego's gonna be able to win all the time because he's gonna have a lot of power with his legs and his arm to knock me off balance, okay? So I always want to go on the inside, All right? So now, I'm going to start to defend the daily heave by turning my foot out and changing for the pan grip, All right? So here's the thing. Whenever I want to go, if his arm is bent, he has such a good grip. If I just try to turn and go, he will hold this grip the whole time. Even if I come, he's going to be able to hold this grip. He's going to knock me off balance. Boom, and now we're going to scramble, and maybe he wins the scramble. Maybe I wouldn't scream. Most of the time I wouldn't scream. Um, so here, now I gotta be really quick, right? So you guys, everything. So before I do anything, I'm gonna bring my foot back really quick to extend, okay? So if you look, now his grip is extended. It's much harder for him to hold. Now at the same time, I'm gonna use this grip. I'm gonna go really quick turn, and I'm gonna go over his shin, and my head's gonna drive down. So I pop my hips to the ground, change my base, walk the fence back as soon as possible, okay? So we'll do it again from this angle so you can kind of see. So here we are first. I control his hip, right? As soon as I can get my hand on the collar to help me with my base, I change for the pen grip right at the bottom. Always remember to close your elbow. If you leave your elbow open, he can start to grab. Now I'm in a very dangerous position. So I can control. So before I do anything, I'm gonna kick and I'm gonna bring to my heel. So you can see how I extended his grip, right? At the same time, I can't wait. If I wait, he can adjust, come right back, and he's gonna get his grip strength back, and I'm in trouble. So I need to time it. So I put a little pressure, I kick, and at the same time, I'm turning my knee out. As soon as I turn my knee out, I'm gonna to start to drive right over his shin. So it's like a shin trap, okay? But I'm not gonna let this grip Come back um, strong. I'm gonna make him stay extended so all the pressure is on his hand. Okay, so I keep this grip. I start to dive this way. Okay, even if he keeps the collar, it's okay. I turn my whole body. Now, I'm gonna throw my body down and turn. I keep this grip. All I do now is change my base, walk back to the hip, release my hand. I'm in a nice lay jack position. So we'll do from behind. Yeah. Control the hip, get the grip, change. Now kick, and that's my opportunity to go. Boom. Let me turn that back. Kick from this side. Inside, remember I control the hip first. Once I get my hand on the collar, start to open, go to the pant grip. Same time I kick, I turn. Straight over. Boom. And I turn my back. Okay. Very explosive. So remember, as soon as the arm goes, 
go right across the shin. Make the tension really hard to hold the grip. And it's a good way to rake the grip and pass at the same time. Okay. Good. Uh, one more little thing. Uh, if you guys want to do the technique at home, you know, if you guys have mats at your, uh, mats at your house and you want to do the technique at home, send it to us. You know, we can watch the technique and, you know, uh, see how it looks. Okay. So hope you guys have fun, enjoy, and stay safe.